All right, hello, hello everyone. I have another uh, full moon reading. Uh, it is that full moon in Capricorn today. Um, wow, so this is some crazy stuff. <laughs> it's actually, it's not, but it needs to be brought to light. Um, so one of the last videos for the monthlies for June really was, uh, one of the archetypes came through and it really showed big, huge things uh, being un being revealed that have been hidden uh, globally even. Um, anyways, so the last couple videos, I kind of talked about a few different things. Um, and because often we talk about uh, trying to control the narrative or control the media, control the information, right? Um, especially regarding, uh, dealing with religion and politics. Anyways, um, I had something really weird happen. <laughs> Not, I'm like really weird. Uh, but I brought it up in one of the last videos and it kind of set me down another little path. So I, I share I, about true crime, the justice system, the things that are going on in the world, right? Um, and I talked a lot about the LDS religion, the Mormons. Um, anyways, something new. I talked about Zuckerberg and Meta. Um, and people, you know, I, I just always just share links and videos, you know, and pictures and stuff like that. And I have a very, very small reach. You need to understand, like, I am not some a person that is getting a bunch of information, you know. <laughs> I have a small group of friends and family, like very tiny to the, the point that I'm not like, like them, they shouldn't even worry about me for real, for real. You know, like, I don't even know how to explain, but, um, the last video I talked about, uh, sharing a video, uh, that had to do with, it was a true crime case off of like 48 hours, but it was involving, uh, Mormons, um, Mormon crimes, um, the things that are had been going on and the link is immediately removed and saying that it's spam and I'm trying to get likes well the same thing happened so I, I brought that up it happened again with a different uh a different video and it is exposing it's exposing that so understand the investments this is a billions probably I don't even know, a $50 billion corporation. That's what the LDS is. They have, and there's a lot of things that have come out. So it's not me making up anything. These are true things that are revealed that have been deceptive regarding their financials, their tithing money and, and, and what they're doing with it. Okay, so the biggest thing regarding all of this is about protecting children regardless of that that's how I see it and um anyways I looked into it so this next video or the video so cults to consciousness I brought this up before and it was really this this these people are telling their stories of what they've been through and it's abusive um sexual abuse um you know what I mean for even so this woman, so, and this is not an isolated incident. I have heard this over and over again in some type of dynamic uh, that these people are, you know, the head of their household. They hold like bishop status or different things like they're, they're a sense of a, a leader uh, in their little community, in their church. And, and, and what they're really doing inside their home to their children is heinous and despicable. Now, when they go and confess it to someone in their church or or the victim tells them, um, they have been they, they have been accused of um protecting the predators uh to uh what's the word to protect their image, right? So this this video, so they allowed me to share the video that talks about the man because it's been caught there. You know, you can't not deny it. But 
the video that shows how the Mormon lawyers, now keep this in mind, these are a bunch of, they're all bureaucrats and shit too, lawyers and, and it, it, they're, it's a, it's a money, it's a money machine, okay, that's what it is. Um, they have um, about a billion dollars invested in Meta. And so that is how much money they've paid to uh, <laughs> for things to be removed uh, that shines a light on uh, what they're doing. So it removed the one that said how the Mormon church um, hides and protects the predators. Uh, these are predators that are harm harming their own children even, okay? Um, and these people are, are still out um, just living their life, even though they are sexual predators. Um, and the weirdest thing is, it's, oh my gosh, it's from the beginning. And so when we understand that, from the beginning, the roots of this religious belief, their they're so-called uh, prophet Joseph Smith Jr. Um, from the beginning, as soon as he went and burned down the the newspaper in the community that was trying to out him for actually being uh, trying to like be a polygamist, um, what he was doing was going to, you know, he was wanting the girls, uh, and, and polygamy was like against the law, so they were just doing spiritual marriages. But it's basically like, anyways, it. What I see it as is someone who wants a mistress. Actually, that's kind of what it is. Like, Joseph Smith just wanted to have... Yeah. It, it, he's like a... He's a typical fucking man. Excuse my language. And if you're a man and you're not like that, I apologize. And uh, don't be offended. It's... Everyone has their own character. But I see it a lot uh, in religious beliefs with women... And children being treated as property and not equal human beings. So understand that, um, yeah, so now they're trying to control the information on uh, Facebook, on Instagram, Meta. They also have Google. They have billions of dollars invested in Google. Like, And you can actually, um, I'm going to actually put the link to the article. This is from back in 2000. 23 so at this point is probably actually higher numbers um but that was the last time that they had to uh, reveal that financial information because they are supposed to be a non-profit and they are jumping through the hoops uh by doing that and and making a ton of money so uh if you look up so utah is predominantly that's like that kind of that <laughs> that i feel like the highest concentration of um these mormon people i mean their colleges and everything is about brigham young university oh anyways there is so much information out there and you know ironically it's not the information that does come forth comes forth from members of that were part of this community um and that's where the information is coming from so people who were in there, they start researching, learning information, doing this, reading the scriptures, asking questions. That's how it always works. Um, so anyone who asks questions is a threat. And so this is, so when you get like young independent children, even, that's what the black sheep always is in all of these things. Anyways, I needed to get that information out there. Um, so, and I'm pretty sure I was shadow banned. So two, two times in like two days, the only content that was removed, um, and immediately, meaning that that link definitely, it was like AI or something taking it down because that link had been marked. It wasn't like somebody like m saw it and was like, oh, this is spam. And they give you your only option is to request a review and then they tell you this is spam and mislead or not misleading but you're trying to get likes and when you got like 20 freaking people that are your friends and I don't give a fuck about likes I want the information out there um because it because there's deception it's lying and being that to me is a true wolf in sheep's clothing 
Um, and that's why I go so hard on this. And it happens in other religions and other places. And it happens in places where there isn't religion. But people, um, man, they're protecting. Uh, they're protecting their image. Um, because they, and they put off a great image. So it's so easy to actually uh, be lured in. Because they seem so family oriented and service and love and doing all these things and 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 nine you know most of the people involved in it do not even know I guarantee they don't even know the scriptures they don't even know they're just they're just following along and that's what it's called even that's why they are sheep um the other thing is they don't want to know the truth and I also have learned that um they it's almost like they have to Something has to be inside of them to be the seeker. They need to be the one to find it, to, to ask the questions and to research. So realizing that um, those people who just stay, you know, there's a different thing when you, they are like totally brainwashed and told, you know, feeling like they have no way, no support uh, to uh, leave because your whole family and community, um, yeah. Anyways, I needed that to be out there. So Cults of Consciousness, I believe um, it was about six months ago was the video. There's a whole bunch of things that have talked about SA or CSA, which is, you know, I'm not going to say it, but uh, against children by uh, their fathers. Mm hmm. And I, it's just, it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Um, yeah. Anyways, let's see. I'm going to pull some tarot and see if I can get some further guidance, uh, clarification. Because I'm feeling very frustrated that, because I feel like this is the same thing, you know, uh, controlling the information. No, I get it. Fact checker and blah, 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 blah. And fake information. Um, but at the same time, that just goes to show. I mean, uh, Mark Zuckerberg admitted there, you know, that the whole Hunter Biden laptop thing, which we now has all come out and we all know that he was a druggie, you know, and but there is deeper, more things on that. Um, anyways, and that's the whole thing with this whole world. We're seeing these elite rich people, um, hiding their deception, controlling with money and being bought. Um, I mean, so I'm, and so it makes sense now. So as far as like Google and stuff like that, like I said, they got like, it's literally like, like, uh, three or four billion dollars invested. Um, and Apple, in fact, even um, Microsoft as well, um, JP Morgan, Chase Bank, um, of their $49 billion. And so because I saw that happen, I, I know that they have paid to have this content, that content removed because it shines light on what's really going on. So they got a bunch of lawyers. They probably got, you know what I mean? They got a bunch of lawyers. So that's the whole thing. So in this dynamic, when um, when someone confesses or uh, tells about some type of abuse that they have been through or, or done, so a, a bad guy telling, so whether this is like confessing their sins, um, they're, they're, they immediately call the church's lawyers who tell them how to handle the situation. And they're always told not to do anything, not to call the authorities. I'm sorry, but that's disgusting. Cause there are certain things that you do need to, if someone, I mean, you are, and then putting, and then that, that continues on for years and years and years. And then it goes down the chain and happens to the grandchildren. It is not okay. Um, 
So yeah, I believe her name was Chelsea. I'm trying to think. Is it Chelsea? Anyways, I put, I'm probably going to check the description box. That's where I'm, I'm going to link in these videos so you can, those who are guided here, and I get it. I'm, a, I'm so small in the freaking ocean of information. Um, but, you know, we can all do our part to share light on darkness that has been hidden. Um, <laughs> but in the with with godliness, okay? <clears throat> you know, like it says, you know, the devil masquerades as an angel of light. Um, and when I say that, it is that it's the intent of the heart. Evil. Perpetrators. Pedos. Sexual abusers of children. Their own and other people's. Um, being protected. Right? Okay. Well, I don't know. I saw a lot of Gemini energy. I saw 6 and Virgo. I saw 617 and I saw 902 again. Um, and 907. Um, whoa. So Taurus. And like I said, I bring up, I believe it's so Taurus. It could be Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> um, he has his, he has beautiful family and beautiful little girl and wife. And so I think I would assume that he wants to protect them just like we do for our children. Um, little girls, protect them from these things. But I also feel like he doesn't, there's this sense that I kind of feel like he, he's a pawn in this. He's given his control over, um, the money and the same thing happens so it's always about and it is because of this stupid freaking election and crap that's coming up immediately that's when people are like that's when they're controlling the narrative they're controlling the narrative and the information right okay taurus that beliefs your values and morals and standing up for what you believe in where you're gonna spend your time uh, where are you going to invest your money? And so the weirdest thing is these other last videos when I was, I went and I was listening to, uh, you know, I was, I was listening to what was coming through in the tarot. Um, and it talked about investments and things like that. And then, then that was shining the light on those investments of this, uh, nonprofit global, uh, uh, and they're trying to spread globally. Um, and they become more and more... Um, mm, they kind of... I, I, I'm saying as when their numbers go down, because it's about numbers and money, right? And for you to remove yourself from their list, you have to go get a freaking legalized, uh, notarized document. But... But they didn't make you fill out any contracts to go, uh, you know, get baptized as an eight-year-old child. And and then do baptisms for the dead. I'm sorry. It, it's, it's really frustrating to me, the amount of control. That is evil. And, and evil is controlling good people because of brainwashing and manipulation. And it harms others. So, yeah. I don't even get it. Ladies, how could you even be part of this? Because there's some people that truly do not think for themselves. And they feel like they have to be told what to do constantly. And then the ones who start asking questions, like I said. Hmm. Anyways, I needed to do this before I move on because I, it is the cancer season now. It is the full moon, the strawberry moon when I'm doing this video. And, um, uh, you know, I have some really wonderful things. The sacred mirror coming up, the forest spirits, 
to me, these things do, uh, they, they are more uplifting um, and about healing and learning uh, different things. And that's the other thing. They don't want you learning. They don't want their members learning anything. Even, you know what I mean? They control their books, their media. Uh, and so it's just, I mean, they have, and now, and they're doing what they can to control the uh, information that goes out on uh, social media now too. Uh, so, uh, way to go. I don't know. Isn't that kind of what Hitler did? And then what happened in that situation? That's why they're getting their, yeah, there's something very dark and evil. And, and I, I know, like, I've personally had people be uh, scammed out of $40,000, $40, out of money, uh, in Ponzi schemes, Utah has the highest Ponzi scheme and manipulation, um, one of the highest suicide rates, um, and the highest percentage of damn Mormons. So manipulation, and they always do that. So like the people who are the manipulators who uh, do these MLMs or it's, it's, it's something like that. That's literally, but they will always have like oh, the temples, the Mormon temples or hey brother, hey sister, oh, huh? mission mission so there's this name dropping stuff or like uh, not necessarily name dropping but oh yeah so that you feel like oh you're a you're a fellow member you would never do me wrong and that's that is the lie it's filled filled with deception and these people say that they have, you know, they have this Holy Spirit and discernment from God, but yet they can, they, it's because they're, they're part of it. They're part of it. And you can't, you, it's hard to decipher exactly who, but the higher ups know, the lawyers know. So <laughs> lawyers, lawyers, liars, the pot. And let's stir the pot, huh? Okay. Pluto. Uh, two, two, two on the clock. Two, two, two. So we also have an, this is transformation, right? This represents Scorpionic. Taurus, Scorpio. We also got the Aquarian energy. Oh, I did learn that Hunter's an Aquarius. So I just needed to bring that up. I think it's important. That's why we want to know if we're, if, if we are, as a people, wanting to give someone power, they, all of their dirty fucking laundry need to be aired so that we can make a, an actual factual judgment call on whether or not this is somebody we want uh, in charge, you know? And so when they're trying to hide all of it, ugh. So, in my personal thoughts regarding Trump, I think he's gross. I think he's a womanizer and those things like that. But he's he's a smart businessman. And he also donated all his fucking money like um, that he received when he was president. He didn't take a paycheck. How about you, Joe? How about you, Bill? How about you, Obama? Did you guys take... You know what I mean? And I just... It's just... It's, I'm not right or left, republic, democrat, libertarian, whatever. I'm not. I, I just call it out how I see it. And I see a lot of deception. And greed. And then. And, <laughs> and I, I cannot. It's like, oh, how can we. I just can't. I don't. Have, it's really hard for me to look to find honor and have any anybody in this world that I can look up to as a noble person it's really <laughs> I think and we can look at it the same thing with the, all the other people in control uh too anyways uh, sorry and I, I I'm like sorry it's frustrating but it needs to be told because if they're trying to cover it up or remove it the only other time, I'll say, so there's only been one other time that I've ever had something removed 
or you know flagged removed off of uh facebook and it had to do with the died suddenly thing uh and all those giant blood clots that these um you know morticians uh were pulling out of these people who died suddenly okay and what does that have to do with yeah All right. Anyways, let's see. Zodiac signs or planets. Who is this for? Who's John in? What for? Let's see. This will be, like I said, this is the final one. And I'm moving on to the Cancer sign energies, uh, birthday messages. Uh, and hopefully, because the Cancerian energy is the mothering, the nurturing, taking care of the body, um, health as well. Um, even being, uh, you know, in the medical field, um, it is about healing. Um, you know, think about that. Like, yeah. What's up, Leos? All right, Leo. Um, I'm going to say I was, so I, like I said, I have a small, small following. And, and I run, I actually, I did have probably three or four people that saw it that were angry with what was, with me being blocked or removing those links and saying that. But, um, and the thing is, is that I do it because I have s several friends that are Mormon. So please don't think I'm like, <laughs> um, I care about them and their families and their well being. And more than anything, I want to know, I want them to know the truth. Um, and, the, and so immediately it's called what it is, is that's anti Mormon and, but it came from Mormons. <laughs> the information, it, it, there's nothing made. And that's where they don't understand. If it isn't shining them in the light of being the one true church, it's anti-Mormon. Yeah. Leo. Hmm. Kind of, I, but I have to say, I was kind of disappointed that I didn't get the support that I had thought I would from some of the other people. Uh, Leo. Hmm. So, <laughs> Leo, in this dynamic, whenever I'm pulling energies, um, I also bring up people in um, that are in the news media and things like that. So, this uh, Chad Daybell, Leo. But Charles Vallow, also a Leo. Um, Leo's also... You represent the children, fun, romance, innocence. Leos can also be, and so when you think about that, a child is like, when you're younger too, it is a me, me, me thing. Because they, they are on, in the focus, right? Um, they need to be, I mean, they need to be taken care of and watched over. And so... They be they start becoming very like I don't know. I'm like, what's the word for it? It's just the focus isn't on other people at that time. They're themselves, like who they are. Hmm. Fives also represent change, right? Also see, wow, Capricorn. Uh I see Saturn. This is about rules and government, right? Um, but this is even breaking free of things that are um, unjust. Because there's been so many laws throughout our history of our world that were, you know, not good laws. Uh, you know, slavery and women's rights. Women not being allowed to vote or go to school being forced to have to wear dresses. Did you know they women weren't used to they were not even allowed to wear pants. They control your your clothing. Um you know the whole thing. You're not those are bad laws. And so this is where there needs to be uh, a change in certain laws that are that are harmful to people's freedoms and their um you know, there, it, and it should, it, it, it is always like, you do not harm other people. 
And if you do that, then you don't, you should go to fucking jail. And that's why I'm not against, you know, laws. I'm not against government and all of these things and police and all, you know, I am very much for it. Because I don't want the world run a bunch of horrible, evil, toxic, liar, thieves, rapists, sexual abusers, child traffickers, drug, you know, drug people that, you know, harming others and their personal property and their families. It makes it a hostile life, a hostile world. But there's always the spin, you know, of the of the pendulum even going one one side too far, too far, and then too far the other way, where it's crazy chaos. All right. Wow, sun energy. <laughs> I pull a lot of Taurus with this too, and so I got five five nineteen and five thirteen. I there is Capricorn as well. Shining light on these things. This is a masculine energy, right? Understanding that this is about um, how we see ourselves too, like our our pride, healthy pride, and bravery. You know, the energy of Leo also is about bravery and strength and confidence and fun. Okay, what else? So, Taurus and Leo popping up Capricorn, too, in this, but let's see. Anything else? Yeah, Mars. Wow. <laughs> there is action. How crazy is this? So, I'm going to share this personally. My Mars is in Leo. <laughs> yeah. So... And it is in my 11th house, which is that house of Aquarian energy, right? And uh, social networking even. And I do, ha I do, this is about passion and the warrior energy, right? Mm. And I've got 517 now. So we definitely have Taurus energy again. And Aries. Okay, hello, Aries. Aries suns even for some of you or dealing with an Aries. So this, um, and Gemini, yeah. Whoa, and Sag, 39 and 13, 1, 3, 1, 13, 9, 3. Okay, I'm just going to take those cards, and I want to see what's the T with this, and you know, what, what is, what give guidance for the highest good. Wow. Yeah. Star in reverse. This is losing hope. Uh, this is feeling hopeless, feeling like, um, things can't be healed. Um, see, so it it's, it, there is a sense of that. That's what they want you to feel. Like you don't have any power, uh, to make a change or a difference in this world. And uh, to submit to the powers that be. So I'm also seeing even could be this Aquarian energy. Right? They, they've they lost hope there that things can be healed. Whoa, yeah, they've been juggling finances. There's multitasking and juggling. The Ace of Wands in reverse. There's no passion. They're heartbroken. Oh, okay, here we go. So maybe Leo's, you're wanting about an Aquarius person. And like I said, Hunter Biden, <laughs> the Aquarius person. Uh, and and that, that's popped in my mind because I was like, I don't know. I never looked that up. So I was like, oh, who owns Wikipedia too and puts that information out there? Because it's definitely, oh, I don't know. Okay, I want to just, I'm going to flow this through and say, so there's someone who doesn't have this passion they don't have this energy. And this could also be with, this is even about sex drive. Because the wands. Someone's lost hope about this. And I kind of have, like, I'm like, I'm done. Like, I just want to be done. All I used to do was share different things about true crime. 
uh, beautiful art, funny memes, you know, and the, the, here's the thing is I like back in 2022, I actually was really diving into uncovering and, uh, really I, I shared so much about, uh, Joseph Smith Jr., the Book of Mormon, and, and the things, I shared so many videos, pictures, articles, and they never took those down. So they have, there is a change in the power, and now they're taking, they have power and they are, and that's the thing, they, they want to cover up their tracks. There's no passion. This is very fucking heartbreaking. Feeling, feeling powerless. Okay, I see someone being, trying to be, this is even about generosity and being giving, right? Hmm. And so th when you look at that, so they have billions of dollars and their members are different levels of uh, financial stability. And so they're 10% plus they have, they have their fast offering and that, and then on top of it, all these little service things that they do is supposed to also come out of their own pocket. Um, so so, so sometimes they do these service projects, you know, like setting up, you know, like bags or something for homeless people or food and things. And it's their own money. Um, and so they're also told, so if they're in a financial crunch, which we're in a fucking financial crunch with the economy and the cost of living and things like that, right? Uh, they are to pay their tithing before they pay their rent or their house payment or their food because God will bless them and they will be taken care of. Um, so <laughs> they're money hungry. And it's, you know, and we see it in the other religions too, you know, anyways, there is a lot of stuff. They, their Australia actually went after them because, uh, they don't allow certain things that they were trying to do. And so they, they made up a fake nonprofit so that the people could pay their tithing into that and, and it would still be a tax write off or something because they weren't allowing them to you know, take this money without, anyway, so I think it's like 60 minutes, Australia. Yeah. So these things are happening. This isn't hearsay. This isn't gossip. This isn't slamming the Mormons because this is shining light on what's really going on there. The same thing when there was all that weird stuff with the priests. Okay. Okay. And the Boy Scouts, the Boy Scouts are interlinked, by the way, with the Mormons. Mm -hmm. They they have since, I think, tried to remove or detach themselves. But they were, all of these things are interlinked with that. And the biggest thing is it's because there's a sense of feeling safe and putting your guard down. Because these people are good people, right? These are good people who love God. And so they... They would never do it. The worst thing is <laughs> they would never do that. Well, apparently they would. And they're going to protect those who, who do because uh, it shines a dirty light on their, their image. And actually, I would have so much more respect if they were the ones outing the sex offenders in their congregations and protecting their members. Because right now, they're members and protecting the children. But when you look at the, the roots of it, it was never, it was about controlling the women and children. Owning them. Not protecting them. So this is even about giving and being generous. So maybe it is about donating. They always will say that too. And you don't get to go to heaven unless you're temple worthy. You can get, well, there's levels of it, you know. You can still go to a nice, <laughs> a nice level of heaven. But you don't get to go to the highest kingdom and be with God. Unless you, you do all of these ceremonies. 
and rituals that are actually interlinked to the the Freemasons, the Freemasonry temples, which they're all over the place too. And I don't even, I just don't want to be involved or interlinked with any of them. I'll be honest. Um, but they're part of our world. And um, that's why there's a lot of war. I don't know if y'all, if they don't see this, all the wars. Who's, who's fighting who? You know what I mean? Like, Evil is comes from this stems from this religious wars uh, and controlling and manipul and other people's money. So this is where Scorpio energy because that's other people's money. It was never their money, but these people freely gave it. Because and they they seem to believe that when Jesus returns. He's going to need their billions of dollars. Because, you know, money's important <laughs> to Jesus. King of Wands in reverse. Ooh. Ooh. Leo. This could be another Leo. This could be you. This is being really angry, though. This is a narcissist person uh, in this energy could be a Sagittarian or an Aries person, but let's see. I'm seeing someone being generous and giving, though. Trying to be hopeful, or in this Aquarius person, even. Okay, we have this King of Wands energy that's lost their passion. Lost, maybe it has to do with, uh, I, and that's what I'm saying. So this ja Chad Daybell would come off as one of these, you, if you could hear the prayers and the blessings that he was saying, like if nobody listened to this, it is a very Mormony. Like this is uh, by the Melchizedek priesthood, and and it was it's always saying how how it's almost always doing this like you're a chosen warrior for God, and and you have very deep you know and. God will bless you and watch. It's like they're, you know, it's literally telling them that they're amazing, magical, wonderful people. Just what they want to fucking hear. <laughs> and they're, they're like, oh, and in, in, uh, in, in Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So there's different ways people pray to when they say that. Like, so I didn't realize this is a completely Mormon thing, but ending the prayer with in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Whereas a Christian says uh, something very different. And they don't say in the name of Jesus. They just say, I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. They're, they're just like, uh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And so it's really weird when you do actually look into it and the whole Christian thing, because there are so many different, uh, like we can talk about Jim Jones, the Bible to me, what I see is it's, it's a tool to manipulate. It's a tool, um, to justify harm. There are, you know, there's the, Proverbs or Psalms where it even talks about child abuse. And it's better to to beat your child than to let them to go to hell. Yeah. So, you know, I, I just... And honestly, ignorance is bliss. Isn't it? Ignorance is bliss. And that's why they can walk around, la, 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 because they literally do not know. They don't read the Bible. They don't read the scriptures. Ugh. King of Wands in reverse, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So once again, being heartbroken. This is a money hungry, greedy. Ooh. This energy is in reverse. When I see the court cards in reverse, I'm saying that things can't be healed. That maybe someone has has a, like this person could have lost all. Like they have no energy. They're so fatigued. They could be very old. Even 
because you know what I mean? They're very, oh, like, but I'm seeing as being grouchy and angry. Maybe they have heart issues. Um, whatever, this is heart, this is even paying off someone for, you know, uh, so it's non-disclosure type things is like, so when these things come to light, that's the whole thing. And, and that's what people do in all of it. You know, they give you a, a big old fat settlement and make you sign a paper that you're not going to tell this to the world. Uh, and there's usually, that's it. There's always contracts, pieces of fucking paper. It's pieces of fucking paper. How does the piece of paper have so much control. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Ooh, I'm pulling this as Virgo again. Because we got the hanged man underneath it. I'm very unhappy. This is someone from your family. Uh, they do not feel loved or supported. Um, this person is, this is greed. So this person is very angry, hostile, or very weak. And so, and, and this person is heartbroken to find out about the greed. Uh, I mean, and that's the thing. It is like when they're trying, you know, they think they have these good intentions. Was, I wonder who, who am I that saying originally? Good intentions. The path to hell is paved. With good intentions. I'm like, okay, whatever. So we got the hangman. Someone gets released. They get freed. I'm, I'm saying that they're not seeing this other perspective. Because in Upside Down, it's like, maybe they already gained this enlightenment. Or they're, no, there's just everything's turned upside down. This world is topsy-turvy. Hmm. Very unhappy. This person. No way. Leo. Okay. I don't. This could be. a. This is a Leo masculine. Potentially. Um, I know. I, because someone doesn't have the strength. And. This could be someone in your family. Or this is. Because. And feeling very unsupported. Very unloved. Or this other king of wands. And that's what I was saying. I was really disappointed that there was certain people who didn't, right? And this person even, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, does not have the strength to hold back. They're stuck. They're stuck in their, their thoughts. They feel, yeah. This person cannot leave. They, there's this, this is a hopeless feeling, stuck and trapped feeling. Like things cannot be healed with this person. Uh, and it could be physical ailments even. Um, cause I'm seeing this a lot of, and I, it, I, I have to go there because for, for the man, their libido, right. And their sex drive, you know, why do we have things like Viagra? Okay. That's what I'm saying. That's what I, um, mm, no one, they're not having the strength. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, bad memories. This is bad. Well, these are bad memories. Huh. All right, here we go. <coughs> wow. Well, interesting, interesting, interesting. It's like someone gets, they're unwilling to see or something. I don't know. Because it is, it feels hopeless. Because when you find out some of these things, it does make you feel very hopeless with this energy. Um, heartbreaking. Maybe even this Mars energy, this war. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, so Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We'll see. I see a lot of Virgo with it. But so bad memories from your childhood. From a family. Um, wow. Maybe someone else was. They, someone wants to be single. Or someone is single. Financially stable. Got the nine of pentacles. Whoa I've got. Got the six nine. As well and nine. 
10, I see 10, 6. Hmm. That's so interesting. Look how it falls right there. Because this is the Six of Cups. This is childhood. This should be good memories, nostalgia. And this could even be like feeling like um, weak. It's feeling so weak. The little boy even, or this king. I'm feeling very unloved and unsupported. Um, wow, well, right? <laughs> Eight, nine, Leos. This is wanting to be single, uh, be financially stable on your own and independent. Yeah, and Knight of Wands. Yeah, okay. This is even someone who is younger, potentially. You or them. Right, uh, this is the player energy that could even be, it could, so there could be a different fire sign, could be Aries, right, it could be a Sagittarian energy, take it how it resonates, if it, if it doesn't resonate for you, then let it be, right, um, Knight of Wands is, is the player who wants to run around all the time, and do things, you know what I mean, um, but someone feels like they can't, or maybe this is the whole thing about it's they've lost hope that things can be healed. It's like receiving some money. Maybe someone was giving money to this King of Wands even for something that was heartbreaking or something regarding um, a third party. You know. Um, wow. Wow. All right, so I do have the Five of Cups in reverse. So there was a time of, there's a lot of emotions in the center here, but it is trying to get out of feeling, I'm seeing this, there's a sense of, there's sadness and depression, but then there's anger about it, right? And I'm seeing it maybe shifting to that. Um, but I'm seeing also that this is getting out of feeling in a depression because this is depressing, feeling unloved and unsupported as a child or your own children even or your family having no feeling like you have no support and this is trying to get out of that these emotions of that i do have page of swords here and the death card wow so someone is looking in stalking and spying and i see that maybe it's about a scorpionic person or it's about a transformation endings you do have, this is someone trying to gain information. I feel like what I do see here is looking in, um, maybe someone who is single is doing this. Okay. I, when I see it this way, I, I see it as, this is a stalker card, but gathering the information, uh, but upright it is getting factual information um i don't see this is not with gossip um there's a reason they're looking in it's a, even they're looking in to see if someone from their childhood uh and the nostalgia card can also be you know um yeah it's like someone you've known since a child and um, we have an ending, a transformation. Maybe even seeing that they've transformed, they've changed. Maybe they're in the death card. This could be somebody passing away. Oh, my. Maybe even they've changed and they want this transformation. They become very hopeless or something. Um, maybe, and it could even be that they, you know, this is what I'm saying. Could it, it feels like someone could not be healed. And there could have been a passing. Okay. Um, I do also see, and this has left someone even, there is fighting or bickering with others. The 5-5 five, five again. How interesting. From, even with family friends siblings someone from your childhood 
Uh, so we have a soulmate as I move over here. So this soulmate is maybe even looking in, stalking, spying, or you could be, if you feel that way, to someone who is very financially stable. Uh, they don't have to be single, but it is being uh, independent, not codependent. Um, oh, so, wow, it could be a Sag, okay, <laughs> for some of you, but uh, temperance energy, trying to keep their life in balance, um, balancing spirituality and um, worldly affairs. Um, you know, this is also about not overindulging in anything in your life. Because everything, we can overdo water, right? And it can be bad. Um, overdo spending time with people. So this transformation is about uh, getting your life in balance. So it could even be Sag. Oh, wow. So Sag um, Scorpio. Uh, wow. Wow. As I pull it through here. So, yeah, someone even, they, this is that high priestess energy in reverse is someone um, not trusting their intu intuition or sharing things that are not their business to be shared. Um, someone feels like, so this center, there is a real feeling of unsupport, uh, bickering, fighting little pokes at each other and feeling very not getting what you're hoping for. They're not, you know, like just wanting to like share the information, but instead they don't, they don't want to hear. They don't want to be part of it. High Priestess in Reverse and Three of Pentacles. This is someone you could have been working with or collaborated with. Um, and, and they may have shared things that were not, um, yeah, this is this is, to me can become gossip, but this is also like certain personal information, even with so. It's someone that that comes off very spiritual, and um, BJ, huh? Two two, how interesting is that? And it could be a Pisces or Aquarian energy. But that to me is the feminine being that way. Uh, three of Pentacles, the lover, justice in reverse. Wow. So there is, you know, sometimes there is that, you know, like if you are married, right, you get some type of privacy, you you're, you don't uh, testify against your, you know, person. I don't know what that means, but a lover in reverse. What? Yeah, this is so sad. They're so sad. It's like, this is also not being able to work with this person, not being able to collaborate. And that's what you're saying. Like, you cannot, there's a constant butting heads. You cannot see eye to eye. You're on different views. Uh, and it's a frustrating thing. <sighs> okay. And then someone feels pushed away. Uh, loss of money. Pushed out in the cold. As I move it forward over here with, you do have Ace of Cups. And judgment upright. Okay. So I do, as I'm seeing over here, this is reinvigorating love energy. Uh, even working on self-love, right? Um, I mean, this person even said things like that. And and judgment is someone having this wake-up call. The judgment coming down is even getting a second chance. Uh, but there is a loss of a home. I feel like someone literally could have got kicked out of their house or they lost a house. There's a loss of money. Um, cause of the four wants in reverse, the hermit, even I'm feeling isolated. So it could be even a Virgo person, but, um, I'm saying this is even about removing yourself from assholes and other people. Um, even if they are family, nothing like toxic family members, huh? Um, that are supposed to be there to love and support you and take care of you. But seeing that they don't is a really sad deal. It's like they've already died. But yet they're alive. How sad is that? But I'm seeing this gaining, this enlightenment, taking time alone. Um, working in, even on your own self-love um, and confidence. 
um, and not going to the party, okay? Not going to a celebration and get together. This isn't, yeah. This judgment call is not having this reconciliation or celebrating because things are not fair and balanced in the finances with the give and take. There's favoritism, Leos. There's favoritism. That's what I always see this is. So, and, and for sure, for sure, I got to share, share this, Leo, because there's some Leos I, that I, I see it. That they are um, the mother or the matriarch. And we do have the king of wands, so maybe it's different. But so it's like if they, if you're being good, you know what I mean? Like if you're following, so the person in this, in the family that the people that are following these, they agree, right? They're in the same religious belief, even the grandchildren, um, they are treated better and given better items more things than the other family members that are not part of their cult um and this is very dominant in mormon stuff too i uh, my children yeah versus my sister-in-law's kids yeah favoritism that's why i say it's not it's not balanced and um, maybe and this even has to do with um the the finances yeah page along someone's not even taking the action to learn it's like receiving investments from legal stuff and it's not fair it, maybe it's about a child this is getting stopped in their tracks. This is, a, see, and this is the time of reaping what you sow and receiving from the work that's been done. And justice is in reverse and Queen of Cups in reverse. Ooh, there is emotional manipulation. There could be heavy drinking, right? Playing a victim. So this is not fair. And some of you, this could have to do with legal stuff. This could have to do with Libra energy partnerships queen of cups in reverse knight of cups in reverse okay leos i just gotta and whoever else is watching too i probably just put the leo in the title i don't know why <laughs> but for some reason it needs to be but i have to bring this up because we look at this is the people like the Ch chad daybell and Lori cox because they they could represent both of these type of energies. The King of Wands in reverse, Chad. The Queen of Cups. She's the Lori's the Cancer sign, so the mothering. This could also be Scorpio or Pisces, right? But I'm just giving this as an example of she was very manipulative. She came off so very loving. Uh and you know, even going and saying, Oh, you know. I was so, it's just emotional and manipulation. And so they're getting away with something because it isn't. And it's like someone seeing that and knowing that. Knight of Cups. Yeah, unapologetic. King of Swords upright, okay. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Looking through, this is gaining clarity, trying to detach uh, I have to say, you know what, people often say that the air signs are cold, they can be cold and cutting and detach emotionally, uh, but those earth signs, without they, they can be very cold and very unloving because there ain't any water there, you know, and it's all focused on money. Hmm. But this is even trying to gain the truth. I, this can of swords that's upright is, um, you know... What are the facts? What is this knowledge? What is this information communicating? Yeah, and then, yeah, someone gets stopped. This chariot. Wow, so this queen of cups is this cancer sign energy. That's what it could be. Or it has to do with a trip, a move, traveling. And, and this is not traveling. 
Maybe someone was juggling what to do. Maybe even juggling the finances. This should be about multitasking. And we got the King of Cups in reverse too. Over here. Yeah, not working. They can't work. It's like they're unwilling to work. There could be heavy emotions. Once again, we got... Could be emotionally manipulating. Okay. King of Cups. Uh, heavy drinking. But you know what I mean? So... Emotional manipulating can be like love bombing or coming out very loving and very, uh, and, but also playing a victim of everyone else did these horrible things and it wasn't, mm. yeah, they're not, they, they're unable to work. Eight, eight, Leo. Two, eight. I'm saying like, they don't have a car. They don't have this, the trip. I don't know. They, they. And they can't work because they can't even like. Maybe they're they're intoxicated even, or they're not they're not right. They just or they refuse to work. They don't have a job. This person doesn't work. That's what I see. Um, they feel stuck and trapped. Like they have no the money. Maybe they didn't get the job or they didn't get the bonus. They didn't get the money from court or legal stuff even. Is this in reverse? Whoa, the fool's right there. And and so this is left someone stuck in their head how to move forward. Not knowing how to because this money didn't come in like someone was hoping. Um, it is saying, maybe it's an Aries person, but it's saying to take a leap into the unknown. Yeah, because this isn't over. The world is in reverse, which means it's almost completed. Uh, this book, this chapter but it's not done yet there is things that maybe not receiving this isn't over yet um there could have been some sleepless nights and anxiety but i'm saying it as yeah finally like trying to get out of feeling stuck or nightmares oh wow nine nine and feeling very wounded like you got to protect yourself i mean ten of cups in reverse and nine like yeah, Will of Fortune in reverse too. Like, there is, this is fear. This is maybe bad karma. And this is even bullying, being harmed, um, needing to protect yourself. So this is also a wounded warrior energy, right? This is about home security, taking the action around to, because someone needs to, they feel like they got to protect themselves. This emperor is upright. Okay, that's good. So this isn't over. So this is the boss energy upright. The father, the husband, the patriarch, whatever. I I do like to see him upright because then he he is benevolent. Could be an Aries, Taurus person. Doesn't have to be. Um, but I do see over here there is some illusions, some looking at your options, and it could be the, some drug stuff. Um. Hmm. some illusions yeah and feeling very defensive like you got a block how weird is this i'm getting synchronicity so we got nine nine and then now i got seven seven and it could be a child very defensive um very unapologetic very unloving just high defense blocking wanting hmm yeah and feeling very wounded. It's like even being able to see that they, they feel like this is a very hostile place. People are very unsupportive. Um, families that should love and take care of their their children and equally. Um, and there's bullying and there's harmful things. Hmm. And it's more of like war of the world words. I said war of the world. <laughs> war of the, uh, yeah. Yeah, they're not telling the truth. Someone doesn't like, there's this child who's very unapologetic. And maybe it's even your own children. Yeah, because we have the truth and there, someone needs to rest and do this healing. Um, 
Yeah, from physical fights, potentially even, or competing and battling, fighting. And laying down this heavy burden is King of Pentacles. Ooh. Laying down a heavy burden called the King of Pentacles in reverse. So this is once about greed again. Wow, and I see some, I, I do see a little bit of Gemini energy or someone trying to create something. And they're coming in to communicate. Whoa, okay. This is, you know, having everything you need. Maybe even someone was defending or blocking, you know, protecting somebody, right? And that's that's what I'm saying. They're blocking uh, the communication. But this this is action coming in with this information and shining light. Uh, the child says, this is Leo card here too, but... This communication is up. Both of them have their arms up. Right? With their sword. And he has his wand. And then shining light is about the children. About happiness. It's supposed to be the happiest card. It is upright. Yeah, I feel like someone made a decision. And they might be coming in and bringing you, you know, a little gift or an offer. Uh, a coffee or something like that something that they're they've been working on oh wow it could even be what they're bringing you is something that someone else stole uh maybe there there is a sneaky thieving lying it's in it's oh the hierophant broke a law they broke a vow or broke a law broke a commitment taurus hierophant in reverse it shows uh they broke a vow so this is also showing that it's they don't get away with things. Someone shine light even on this. They broke a lot. Well, we have King and Queen of Swords upright. So thinking things through, communicating tactfully, honestly, looking at the information, weighing the facts, finding the knowledge that there is um they broke a commitment, they broke a vow, they are not um they're not a hierophant. You got hierophant and high priestess in reverse. So this is why I bring up those two people because there are more people like that, okay, in this world. And those are the wolves that portray themselves as godly. They know right from wrong. They've taken vows and commitments. This is even someone, this is could be broken wedding vow, but it's a breaking a law. That, um, or breaking your own rules and morals and values. But they, that's the thing, they've... Yeah, and we got Queen of Swords and King of Swords right here, even. And shining light on it, these emotions, that moon, it's coming out. So this could even be that Cancer sign, uh, Piscean energy too, but this Capricorn full moon. These are The information comes forth during this time about someone who was stealing, thieving, and that's why I brought up their... their financials they were they were lying to the members with what they were doing mm -hmm, with it and they're lying to the government because when a donation or tithing and things come in it is why it's non-profit is because it's supposed to be donated and given away to charity and people who are in need and instead the church is telling these people who are in need <laughs> that are part of their members have you paid your tithing? Well, you need to pay your tithing. <laughs> you know, things like that. It's just, it's manipulation. They And these the people in the hierarchy, because you got like the quorum of the 70, they're like all these, and they do get money, but it's not showed as uh, they're being paid. It's showed as they're being reimbursed. But they're being reimbursed at a very higher rate than what is true. Um, and so that's the thing. The people who reveal this information, uh, it's not, they have the facts and evidence. Um, it was actually, anyway, it's just, it's all there. <laughs> yeah. Right? No longer. You, the information's coming in. I feel like this person even could have lost a, a business, their legacy, the finances. This is losing property, a business. Um, this could have been a huge loss even of, you know, them, even the 
church is often manipulating elderly people or others to give all of their, you know, change their wills and uh, giving it to the church and not to their family. Because their, their family is the church. Uh -huh. Okay, well. And then we've got, yeah, bad karma for this. Bad karma. It, this is also sometimes when the timing is off. Like, maybe even check the time. Uh, maybe something, something about the dates and stuff. Queen of Wands in reverse. What the heck, guys? We got the earth and the fire energy in reverse. And the water energy. The only ones that are upright are the air signs right here in this. Speaking honestly and truthfully. Gaining the wisdom, giving the information. Queen of Wands in reverse. The Empress. Whoa, a mother or a wife. This is even someone not taking care of their family, their children, their career, their job, whatever. She's in reverse. I I see this one in reverse is needing attention, kind of being an attention whore and not wanting to be a mom. More about like wanting to be seen. Sometimes they're very provocative. Um, you know, upright, she's beautiful and classy, confident. In reverse, she's trying to be that way, but she's actually become smutty and more of a hoe. I don't know. It's kind of more slutty. It's like, oh, that is loss of self-respect because, and, and people want to twist that and be like, no, this is, I love myself. That's why I want to show my, you know, with someone needing attention. Uh, oh, man. The Empress in reverse. Oh, okay, yeah. And someone cannot let this go. Oh, so there, there's some deep emotions about it. This could even be your own mother. This could be a wife. Two. And maybe that's why there's even the Six of Cups in reverse there. And the Ten of Cups in reverse there. Huh. All right, so these are holding on to these emotions. So we have all these hurts, all these hurts, feeling very like a third party, feeling heartbroken, and then you get the Ten of Swords. So feeling betrayed, backstabbed um, by the people who were supposed to take care and love. Okay, so that's why I bring up this, this Chad and Lori thing because... Those children that they murdered, then then they yeah. This is what it is being backstabbed by the ones who are supposed to love you, and that's where there is a smear campaign, right? That happens. That um, if you if you that's the thing, people will stay in these things because if they do start asking questions and wanting to remove themselves from it, their families and their neighbors and all of these people who they thought were their friends and brother and sister, Lee. And that's what they call, like, basically everybody. <laughs> uh, this is betrayal. And right now, it's still fresh. It's still fresh with this person. Mm-hmm. This Queen of Wands could have been a betrayer. You could feel that way even if you are this Queen of Wands. Dang. Or it's about a wife or a mother. Not being there. Um, wanting to just be a, a run around. I don't know how. Yeah. Maybe there are. Uh, it could see a little bit of Taurus. So we've got the Queen of Pentacles. So a little bit of maybe even Aries Taurus energy. Um. Wow, yeah, this is over. There's betrayal there. Uh, and there could be that Virgo energy too. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, the devil, holy crap. So it could be Capricorn too because we got... This is toxic, controlling, bondage, fear. 
addiction, obsession, domination. Yeah. And and blocking communication. Um blocking you know, removing people's freedom of speech, blocking their their ability to communicate and um send messages. Yeah. Whoa. Leaving someone feeling very unvictorious. That's what I got. Damn. Hmm. Yeah. Strength in reverse. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Three of Swords upright. The Devil upright. So it could be Capricorn energy. It could be Virgo. I did see the Taurus energy, but you got to take it how it resonates for your situation. What else is over here? That moon, something being revealed during this time regarding children or about happiness, right? And this is also feeling defeated. Like feeling like the devil won. Damn. Or the addiction won. The obsession. The toxic bondage. And I do see this as these controlling religious cults. As the devil, you know, from the beginning, when I was younger, I, my grandpa, my grandpa and grandma lived that life. Okay. Till their, till their death in there. And I was always like, the, isn't the devil was the one who won it or Lucifer, Satan, whatever that means adversary, you know, and they believe also that Lucifer is their brother. Okay. And in the story that I was told, it was that, you know. Jesus wanted to free give free will to the people and the devil said no you need to force them to be good he didn't want them to have free will and so this is also controlling with fear like you're gonna go to hell if you don't do this Joseph Smith Jr. did that to his wife Emma you're God says so as he's writing you know I am a channel of God and a prophet and God told me that he wants me to take multiple wives or an Emma, if she does not agree to these terms, then she will be damned to hell. Oh, oh, oh. And it was because she already caught him screwing around <laughs> with one of the, like, a young girl. So in our day and age, he belonged in jail. He was, he died. You know, he's murdered. I was such a martyr. Was it everyone coming after him? Because he, he, he was going and, um, yeah, stealing children and women and trying to manipulate them that, God wants me to be your wife or you want you need to be my spirit wife and by that way you will then get into heaven and man during that time that was called like the during that Joseph Smith time there were so many other cults that started actually uh, and some of you still might even think that they I mean you got Christian science stuff thing is Mary Baker Eddie uh, and there's a whole bunch of other ones that have their own little so maybe even a little Jehovah's Witness. I mean, they all have a different thing. And the irony is the only thing I agree with Joseph Smith on is that there are, that, that the churches are flawed. Yeah. And that's what he was like. He's uh, He was seeking during that great awakening, you know. But then he, he saw that he could, he, he was a, treasure hunter yes what yes it is true that he is a he was a treasure hunter he loved doing that with his father but he was also a con artist and he continued and his con is continued and so the people who are that want power and control it is the same type of thing give me your money give me your life and your service it is slavery. 
and they submit to it. And when they want to get out of it, especially, it's the whole thing, like, with the shame of the family. I mean, you see some of those, like, Islam, Muslim stuff where they do honor killings, thinking it's okay to kill their child because they've shamed them. So they're more concerned. The irony is they, they think they're spiritual and religious, but they're actually more worldly than they are spiritual. They're focused on worldly affairs, worldly power, money, what people think of them, their image. So a narcissist is worried about what people will think of them and they got to keep that image up and they're going to do whatever they can to flip it around right these are like telltale signs so all of these people doing that all of these religions all of these politicians all of these cults uh all of these women on the internet too or whatever whoever like that's what i'm seeing like and that's what social media is about, too. <laughs> Keeping their image. You're, it, it, oh, my gosh. Hmm. Instead of remembering what is important, um, Jesus said, love God with all your heart. And love your neighbor as yourself. And if you've done those two things, then all the, the rest of it falls into place, right? Because if you do, if you love your neighbor as you love yourself, then you're not going to lie. You're not going to steal. You're not going to try and cheat or have an affair. Um, you know. Anyways. Bummer. Let's see. What's the tea? There's a lot. This is kind of shitty. The forcer. Yeah. See, look, forces things on you, forces their way in, uses force to get what they want. This is even using that weapon of war, right? The Mars. So in two different ways, I read, when I read the King of Wands in reverse or this devil card, right? And things like this. That's what it is. It is fear mongering. Uh, this could be using anger or ta like, I feel like someone is, is lost their strength. I mean, lost their confidence, lost their strength even, um, because they've been, it's like breaking them, wanting to break them. Look at the boxer. How weird is that? This is the T on this person. Cause I highly doubt people that are listening to this you know, are this way. But if you are, then, you know, you probably already been triggered <laughs> and you're not listening anymore. Wow. An impersonator wants to be like you, acts like you, dresses like you, copies you. That's the Michael Jackson forcer. Hmm. <laughs> That's what I see underneath there. All right, so there's a sense of lost hope, no passion, maybe even there's no passion going on, I don't know, uh, or, yeah, what, I'm going to see what, what's the rest of the tea on this, all right, okay, Leo's in the Mars energy, wow, here we go, fishing for cyberbullying, holy shit, cyberbullying coming up all the time. Okay, that's why I brought this up even with the stuff that was going on online with Meta and things like that. Um, this person fishing for comments. Woe is me, Leo. Aquarian online even. Acting like they... I'm just saying they're, they're like doing like, oh, this it's so hopeless. Or they can't be healed or something like that. Fishing for comments about themselves or someone else. I mean, they want attention. That's attention. You're and you're being bullied online. That's what I say. Or they are or have suffered from this. Yeah. And the irony is that's sitting there. It's with words, and that's what I even saw with like the five of swords. 
it's just telling, you know, telling people that they're being bullied. Yeah, being bullied. <coughs> Inside scoop, a closer look. Nosy and up in your business. Ooh, this is the first one this one come out. They're nosy and they're getting up in your business. And they are greedy. Inspecting this. Like he's looking. This he this guy looking through a magnifying glass at a drink. The nosy gossiper inside your business. So this is even the type of person that gossip, you know what I mean? So if they do talk to other people, they'll ask about, uh, they want to, oh, how is this person doing? Oh, how is this person doing? I'm just seeing this as a person who is very greedy, in a lack mentality, and up in your business. Up in here, up in here. We got some DMX going there. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. Up in here. <laughs> oh, wow. Same shit, different day. But they're, it says they're into you. Good chemistry. But there's photo proof of something. Um, ooh, wolf, a karmic friend. Can't fully trust them. There's tension, secret competition. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. I don't like doing that. I don't want to know. I want to remove it. You know what I mean? Like, ugh. I don't, I'm not the type of person that wants to keep an attachment so I can look in and snoop and see what's going on um, in someone's life. Because I don't care anymore. Like, I don't care. And so I think that this is important because at the same time, knowing that there is something really karmic and they've done ill things, they've done bad things to other people or you or different things like that. Um, because there is this weirdness that that, that what is what creates an anger or a vengeance or wishing. Then, then you become like them, wishing ill on them or even, you know what I mean? Uh, I want them to get their karma and, and I want to look and see that they're going through issues and problems and things like that in their life. Um, and I, damn, Leo's, I'm all damn. Fake friends, fake smile, talking shit, looking you up. Researching you, yeah, talking shit and looking you up. Um, for me personally, as a Libra, me reading this, it's like knowing that I have to say there's a couple Leos in my life. Be honest. i be honest. I kind of, uh, I, everything says I don't like this person. You're not my friend. But they want to act like it. So I get like that. I guess a little Pantera going on. This is how I express it, too. Can't you see? I'm easily bothered by persistence. One step from lashing out at you. You wanted to get under my skin and call yourself a friend. I've got more friends like you. What do I do? Is there no standard anymore? But it takes who I am. Where I've been belong. This is also the, the Queen of Pentacles, too. And for me, family, it is uh, like ants. Mother-in-laws, sister-in-laws. It's an in-laws. Um, there, it's extended family. Um, things like that. It's not immediate. It's not my family. I know that. That's what it is. It's and she's greedy as fuck and an asshole. And so yeah. And she, she wants to parade herself as, oh, la, 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 I'm a good Mormon. No. <laughs> There's no such fucking thing. How about that? Oh, photo proof of it. Moving on. Thank you, next. There's a Polaroid. There's evidence. There's pictures. All right. Fishing for comments. I and mean, there could be Virgo energy, too. I mean, it could be any type of person that is in and in, in a need 
a lack mentality that needs attention, an attention whore, uh, and a greedy gold digger. They want to be seen as so amazing, though. You know, so good. Or they want to be seen, they want attention, however they can get it, because we got the fishing for comments, right? Poor me, woe is me. Uh... Hmm. Or they're putting in, they, they actually will tell everybody online about what's going on in their personal life with their family and things like that. Where, oh, pre, pl what, pl please pray for this person in my life. They're just, uh, I'm such a good person. I just, I don't know how to help them. This person is having, it's like smear campaigning your own fucking family on the internet. Caught a case. Ooh, S. There could be a sexual infection. There's a new one. Wow, that one came through in the very first one. Yes. Maybe someone gave someone money for this, even for the doctor or things like this. I got a little Virgo energy there. Hmm. Oh, there's favoritism, Leo. Remember that? Maybe they're even telling people about those things. There's some new one is like a ringworm or something. All right, cyberbullying, screenshotting things, looking you up. Well, getting the evidence, fact, proof, and fact. You need proof and facts about these things. Researching you, studying you, getting info. Creativity, they're stealing your ideas, copies your work, and duplicates and feeds off of you. It could be a doctor. Hmm. Wow. Google. Hmm. How many billions? Yeah. This one is staying out. I want to see. Oh, a romantic love affair. Sex fix and a secret lover. Oh, shit. With this one, this is definitely uh, infidelity where it has been intimate and caught a case. And someone didn't communicate about, uh, like, maybe that's why even they blocked this communication between. The romantic. Yeah. Oh boy, huh? Well, same shit, different day. An obsessive lover. Dangerous, toxic, unhealthy, possessive, and karmic. Holy shit. Do you see? Obsessive lover. Ew. I'm just... That's what that devil is. It feels like there's chained, a bondage. Queen rising. Let's see what else. Dust it off. My, there's a little Libra energy with this even. Not not this obsessive thing, but um, maybe. I don't know. It's ignoring. and I feel like if they're, they are, like you need to ignore them. It means something about dusting. Things are dusty. Maybe dust is that name. Dustin, something like that. Oh, a divination abuser. Clout hungry, says anything and does anything, makes shit up and dramatic. So this divination abuser person is someone who will say anything and do anything and make shit up, right? Um, to get attention. Just like I'm saying, so some of these where it talks about like the Melchizedek priesthood and na 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 and um uh, patriarchal blessing. It's a blessing. Giving blessings or things. It's literally like trying to uh, prophesize over a person and tell them what they're. It's like t it's truly just telling people exactly what they like, what they want to hear. That they're amazing and they're going to be blessed, and they and God has special plans for them. And 
the patriarchal blessing that people get are basically almost all the same. They always say, oh, I, you're going to get married in the temple and... And you're going to be here to when Jesus returns as a warrior for God. My my husband got that. He did get married in the temple. And then he, he, then he realized, like, his grandpa got the same one, but his grandpa was paralyzed at the time. And he was like, it, I think these are the times when it started dawning on him that they're full of fucking shit. Yeah. Okay. An offer. Coming in with an offer, an offer you can't refuse, a coffee. Carless. They have no car. Leo, you always get this thing with the car. What is up with that? Repo, car issues, no car. I feel like Gemini did too, but. And that's what it showed, this obsessive lover even, this karmic thing. Unhealthy, possessiveness, and toxic. Okay? Toxic. Divination, abuser played out some of you think it could be Aries energies um that one came through in the other video too fake smiles yeah see and the bible does talk about that you know the 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 itchy ears in the time, like, and I think it's in 2 Timothy. It's in Timothy or something like that. But, anyways, people will be drawn to teachers that tell them what their itching ears want to hear. Hmm. No facts, though. Never has the facts and makes shit up. Fake flexing. Acts rich. Flosses money, acts fancy, and shows off. Well, you see there's a 20 there, and there's a 50, but behind there looks like some fives. So this is someone like, yeah, oh, I'm noticing the denim company, right? I've never really paid attention. Denim jacket, even. This person acts like they have money. Hmm. Love triangle, third party, multiple lovers, and choices. Yeah. That's why there's the third, the, someone is heartbroken. Heartbroken? There's, yeah. Child services. Kids at risk of being taken or is about to be reported something. Neglect or abuse. Yeah. See, and that's why I'm bringing those things up. And that, it was her own father, right? Ugh. And that's an, not an isolated incident. That's what I'm saying. I've the whole thing. We think of the FLDS and Warren Jeffs and that type of horrible thing. Like, ew. And those people allowed control, and some of them helped control others. Um. Look. Yeah. It says shine. Your light irritates their demons. Actually knowing, that's the thing, is like actually knowing what the, the Bible says and the scriptures say, because most of these people don't. But you gotta be careful because then that just because you can spew out some damn scriptures doesn't mean that you are a godly person. Okay? And just because a person says fuck and curses doesn't mean they're an evil, toxic person. Some of the most evil, toxic people are the ones who portray themselves as light, right? Hustling, make it rain. And divination abuser. This is someone potentially even trying to do some dark magic. That's why I'm saying it. Manipulating the, the signs and the cards and things like that. Like, I feel like it's someone, like for an example... Uh, if you're watching these, they literally already picked out all the cards and it's all set up to share the message. Or when they're pulling cards, they're like, if you know tarot and you know what it means, it'll be like the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Swords. And they'll be like, oh, there's a beautiful, wonderful completion that's happening in our life. And oh, la, 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 la. Like it just always, it always 
sometimes it's just that's the whole thing. Well, if we just believe it and we man, it's, we we create our own reality. And I'm like, and manifest what's real and what's not. And uh, okay, I 100 percent though that that almost makes victims feel like they it's their fault that they created that. So um, just it's ugh. Okay, that's what I got. These are some fucking crazy things. And excuse my language if that offends you. It it feels necessary with this type of bullshit. Okay, let me see. I want to get some time to see if there's any other guidance. Okay, I do see a heart. I see the two feet. Oh, wiener dog. Dotson, an apple, the feather, the feather, a seashell, seashell, two feet, different size feet, an apple a day, the apple came through, about wisdom and knowledge, about even sexual infections, uh, sexual diseases, rashes, needing antibiotics, we have an angel wing, another apple wow what does that mean sometimes people say apples represent temptation to me apples are about generosity and good health nutrition ha cloud apple apple ah you know what i mean hmm there's a triangle there this is so weird. So I've brought this up. So maybe some of you, maybe it is. I've brought up. This looks like my dog even. Like someone, oh, maybe someone, they stole your creativity. They duplicate your work. Oh, maybe it's even your own, like, you know, I mean, your pictures of your animals or your something like that. I'm seeing the smiley face. The green smiley face. The seashell, another seashell, a little green flower, the bunny, looking you up, bunny. Hmm. This is about fear and sexual stuff, even to the little rabbit. Good luck, maybe. Uh, angel wings and a heart. And then the final one is the key. A heart key. The heart key. Same shit, different day. Hmm. Well, 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 that's what I got for you. All right. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.